Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Stefan here, and today we're gonna to go through step-by-step -step how to launch your first Google Ads search campaign. Let's get into it. When you first open up Google Ads, this is the page that you'll see. This is the overview page. Now, if you don't have a Google Ads account and you're starting one up from scratch, it's gonna take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to open up the account. Now, if you don't see this page, it's because you're still in a sort of simple version of Google Ads, you wanna make sure to switch to expert mode. There's a button at the very bottom, right when you start, that you can just click and switch to expert mode. Now, I'm not gonna get into that now. There are plenty of tutorials online on how to do that. We're just gonna get right into creating the campaign. Now, first off, this is the overview page. So here you can create a new campaign. You can see your stats here. Here you can check the dates that you want. And then you have sort of the navigation bar on the side. So you have this overall navigation that's like, covers all of the campaigns that you have. And then this is sort of the navigation within that. So you will, I'll show you how to use that here in a second. But for right now, we're just gonna get started right into a new campaign. So you can click new campaign here and it'll take us to the page to create a new campaign or uh, just so that you know the other options. If you're in the campaign page itself, you can click this little plus button right here and that'll create a new campaign. The other benefit is that if you've already created a campaign that you like and you just wanna copy it, you can actually load those campaign settings so you don't have to start from scratch. But for right now, we're just gonna start brand new. So we'll create a new campaign. All right, so here's where we're gonna select our campaign objective. Again, we're gonna walk through just creating a search campaign. So I'm not gonna go through all the details of every single one, but we are just gonna go through this as quickly as possible so that we can get you up and running as quickly as possible. So the objectives you have is sales, leads, and create a campaign without a goal guidance. Those are the ones that we're primarily gonna use. Again, if you're using sales or leads, it's because you've already used a campaign, it's successful, and so Google already knows how to find it. Uh, but otherwise, if we're starting brand new, we're just gonna create a campaign without a goal kind, so that's what we're gonna click here. And then again, here are all the options of the types of campaigns that you can run. Since we're running a search, that's what we're gonna click, search. So here you're gonna decide on the conversion goal. So conversion goal, you set that up in a different part under the tools and settings option in Google. But here you can decide whether you want to submit leads, whether you want to just get page views, purchases, uh, or all three, just to watch and see what's actually converting. So that's really where you're gonna set that up. For right now, I'm just gonna leave that alone as just submit lead forms. And then here we're gonna click on website visits because that's what we want. I'm just gonna put in my website there real quick. And then here we're just gonna say search and then leads, that's what we're trying to get. So we'll hit continue. Now here's where we decide what we wanna focus on. So we can focus on conversions, a conversion value, clicks, or impression share. Now, if you're first starting out, if this is your very first campaign and you haven't had a single conversion, it's actually best to set it up with clicks because you want as much traffic to go into your website as possible. Those clicks will determine whether your landing page is effective and how well you're actually getting the conversion rate. And then once you have a few conversions, you can then later change this to conversions. So for now, if this is a brand new one, we're gonna start with clicks. So here you can set a maximum cost per click. So if you only wanna pay 10 cents for a click or a dollar a click or whatever, that's where you do that. But again, right now, we're gonna leave this alone. We're just gonna ask Google to get the maximum amount of clicks at the best price. So we'll leave that one alone. We'll hit next. So here is where we're gonna select the rest of the campaign settings. So as a default, it will select the search network and the display network. We wanna make sure that we unselect these. Because right now, as we're starting out, we just wanna focus on Google. That's the highest value that we have. So we're gonna make sure that we uncheck those. Next, we're gonna go into the locations. Now, this is a little trick that you wanna use. If you're targeting, let's say a country, you wanna actually put in each individual state. And if you're targeting a state, you wanna put individual cities. And if you're targeting a city, you wanna put in the individual like zip codes or area codes. And the reason you do this is because this will allow you later to look at the data and see what areas you are most profitable in. So make sure that you actually enter in, again, like let's say we're targeting the US, we'll go Alabama. Right, and we just click target. And then we can add all those. Now, if you wanna add a bunch more at the same time, you can just copy a list and you can just copy and paste it right in here and then it'll add all those individual locations. So that's what we're wanting to do if we're adding the entire US. And then another trick here, you wanna make sure, I almost missed it here, is what you're selecting here from the location options target. So if you are a service-based business and you're targeting a very specific area, like whether you're, let's say, a real estate agent or a uh, a landscaper, you actually wanna make sure that you're clicking on this one. So people regularly in 
your target locations or people in or regularly in your target locations. So people who've shown interest, they could be in, I mean, if you are looking at Colorado because you want to go skiing, but you live in New York and you're showing up as to ads for people who are in New York, in New York that's going to be a waste of your money. So you want to make sure that you're targeting specifically those people who are in your area. Secondly, here you have languages. So here you can add another language, Spanish. So again, if you're in Texas, though, you want to make sure that if your ads are in English, to only target English. If your ads are in Spanish, target Spanish. But having that language is going to help isolate and target people in that area. So again, if you're in Texas, there's two languages primarily spoken there. Target the one that your ads are going to be in. Then audience segments. Audience segments is where you pick audiences that you want to keep a tr track of. Now you can also do this in the ad set level, but here's an opportunity to do it in the campaign level. So you're just going to type in whatever possible demographic might be interested in your product. And you're going to type it in here. In this case, I already selected here where it says real estate. It's a bunch of different real estate uh, options. And now what this will do is that later on, when we look at the data, we can see if there's a particular segment that is more profitable for us. So we want to make sure that we're doing this now. Very important, do not click targeting. We just want observation only. So this is just going to allow us to keep track of those different audiences. So again, click as many as you can, and you can also do it on the ad set level. But for now, we're just going to leave it here. Now, under more settings, I'm just going to go this through this real quick. You don't really need to touch any of this. So obviously uh, optimizing, we want the best performing ads to show up again and again. Start and end date. So if you are advertising a specific event, then obviously you'd want to put in an end date because your your event ends at a certain date. So you don't want to keep advertising afterwards. So that's really where you'd put that there. Ad schedule, we're just going to have that go throughout the whole day. Again, we're wanting to get as much information as possible. So if the majority of the people who are converting on our website or buying from us is happening at one o'clock in the morning, we want to know that. So we don't want to limit that just yet. We just want to start that uh, at all day. Campaign URL options, we can leave this alone. And then dynamic search ads, we can also leave this alone. So we're just going to click next. Now, before we go on to the next section, be sure to hit the like and subscribe. It really helps with the channel. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we release a new video so that you can stay up to date on the latest marketing trends and any tutorials that you may need to learn so that you can grow your business faster. So go ahead, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Now let's get back into it. All right, so here is where we decide our ad group. So this is now that second layer deep as far as what we're deciding. So this is primarily our targeting area. So what we're going to do here is we can rename our ad group. So if we're doing a search campaign, so what we should have done before this is we want to make sure that we have a group of keywords. So we have like a keyword theme. So if we're talking about real estate as an example here, maybe it's residential real estate. So maybe it's uh, how to buy a home. So maybe that's the question that we're kind of answering. So we're going to have a bunch of, of those types of keywords in here. So this is where we're going to put those keywords in. So let's say, and that's where we would put that. So we want to make sure that we put in all the keywords that make sense in this particular category. So we don't want to, now it's kind of a balancing act. We don't want to put so many on here that it's, uh, that Google's just going to find everything. So here we want to be fairly specific and kind of have a theme because what that'll do is that when we go on to creating our ads, it's going to increase the quality of our ad, which then in the long term for us means that we can likely pay less and get more impression. So we really want to be specific when we're putting in our keywords. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it at that. Perfect. Now, as we scroll down, this is the ad section. So we do have the ad group level, which is this. And then now down here, we have the ad section. So here's where we're going to want to put all of the details of our ad. If we want to add, again, we put in our URL here, we can put in something like learn more if we want. So then that's going to affect the, uh, the end of the ad here. And you'll see it loading here in a second. So there you go. So now it says learn more. Now it will give you a sort of a ranking, uh, which you do want to pay attention to a degree. Uh, don't get too caught up in it. There are tricks that we want to make sure that show up on the top, but you do want to have a decent rating on this. And then here, it's just going to give you a few suggestions on what to do. So down here, we can click on what we're going to actually put in on our, uh, on our ad. So in, in my case, if, if you're looking for uh, like a marketing agency, it could be marketing agency near me, it could be something that you're, 
at your advertising. So that could be something like that. Or again, you could put something a little bit more offer like a, a free consultation. So these are the different headlines that you're gonna to wanna to put in. Now, here's the trick. This is where you want a lot of similarity to what your keywords were above, uh, up above here, right? So you want it to be very, very similar. However, you don't wanna necessarily need to make it exactly the same, uh, but you want it to sort of be within that theme. Now, as we go down here, we have sort of the description. So this is this section here, right? So this is the description you wanna add as many as you can. And then uh, ideally uh, have your location or whatever. So put in as much specific information as you can. And this is also where you can put a call to action. So book now. However, you can do a call to action on one of these guys as well. So if you want a call to action, let's say again, book your free strategy call. And I want it to show up here at the last bit like this. Here's a really neat trick is I can actually click here and say show only in position three and that's only gonna show in that particular position. So that's like a neat trick if you want to have your ad show up in, or a, a piece of text show up in a very specific area. And it will cycle this and what this means is that this will always be there. So it won't actually take it off. This will always be there every single time in the third position. So if you select one in position two and then another one in position one, that means that none of these other words will show up. So uh, you know, use that with caution or use that with, <laughs> it's a grain of salt. So. That's what you wanna do there. Now again, here on the side, depending on our targeting, depending on that, it's gonna kind of give us a weekly estimate uh, of how effective our ad is gonna be. So because I clicked how to buy a home and that's the only word, word or keyword that I'm trying to bid for, then it's giving me an average cost per click that it's saying that I'm gonna get, how much it's gonna cost me and how many clicks I'll get. Again, these are estimates, but do pay attention to this. That's the main thing that's gonna have to do with an ad. Now, you wanna add as many as you can, especially to start out with, this is gonna cycle through. Now, I will say the downside is that you can't see which ones are working best. So what I like to do is, at least when you're starting out, put in as many as you can, and then when you create another ad to kind of test against it, just pick the first three, or uh, or you can even just copy the whole ad and just pick where you want to place those placements. Um, so again, where you want these headlines to appear. And then that way you have an ad that you can compare to and see which one's actually outperforming the other. So that's just one little trick with that. Now, once you get down here, these past the, past the description, these are all what's called extensions. So these are extensions that are on your ad. These are very important. These actually really help your ad. So you can add images. You may have seen when you type in Google, you'll have that ad come up, but you also have like a little image that tells you a little bit about the product. So again, if you're advertising a specific product, having that product image would be a very key thing to have there. Uh, but site links, this is another great thing. So if you have different like action steps or different phases of the journey. So maybe somebody's trying to find out more. Another person is ready to book a call. Another person wants to find out your pricing. You can actually add these site links, which will sort of allow people to click directly to a different page. So that's if you're driving traffic generically to a main page versus just one specific landing page, but that's where you would do that. So here, ideally, you could actually have four or five different landing pages that will show up along with your ad and it'll sort of say a different keyword. So that's the place where you do that. Now, I will say of all the extensions, that one's the most important because what it'll do is it'll make your ad much bigger. So your ad will take a much, much more space. So that's a neat little trick that you can add into your ads that will increase your performance right away with very minimal effort. And then call out extensions. These are little extensions that show up sort of at the end here. Uh, again, as many as you can to add all of these different types of extensions. So promotions, prices, you can add a phone number, structure submit, again, it's more detail, lead form, you can add a form where someone can fill out a form right there on the ad. You can add apps. So there's a bunch of things that you can add here and that's where you would do all that. And then once you're done, you would just hit next. And then now it's giving you a budget here. Now we're obviously not gonna spend $105. We're just gonna click a, we're just gonna do, let's say $5. So we're just gonna, now it's telling me it's gonna be low because of the one keyword that I was trying uh, to bid for. So, but that's okay, we'll just ignore it for now. So you do wanna pay attention to this number because that is actually gonna tell you how much traffic you're really gonna have. So if you bid too low, again, this is a big auction. So if you bid too low, your ad's just never gonna show up. So you wanna make sure that you're within striking distance to actually get some of those impressions and see if you can get more traffic. Uh, so a lot of times this recommendation is something you wanna keep in mind. And then you hit next. And then here is where it'll allow us to review. So yep, that's the name of our campaign. Again, we, we can, we would rename it maybe to the theme that we have. So like buying a home 
All right? So that's what we would name that. Again, it's a search. We have, that's the goal, that's a conversion action, right? The submit lead forms, maximize clicks because it's our first uh, campaign. So we wanna just drive as much traffic as possible. The Google Ads network, that's the only network. We're not gonna do those other extended networks. Again, the individual states or zip codes or cities, again, depending on how you're targeting. The languages, real estate are the, uh, the different audiences. So this is the audiences that we're tracking, right? That we're just paying attention to. Again, here's the ad group, so the keyword, and then here's the ad, which is uh, what we just did, and then our budget. And then we just hit publish campaign, and then here it starts publishing, and there we go. We did it. That's how you create a Google search campaign. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you have any tips that you'd like to share as well, drop a comment below. Also, if you found value in this video, be sure to hit like, subscribe, Hit that notification bell and we will see you in the next video.